<coughs> the M6 in Cheshire. Wow, look at that. PC Ian Cosgrove is at the scene of a devastating vehicle fire that has brought the motorway to a standstill. Is everyone all right? Is it just yourself? A burst tire burst into flames, completely destroying a caravan. That's a mess. See how it's glued to the road surface. Everyone's OK, so that's the main thing. With eight million dash cams in our vehicles, we can reveal Britain's worst driving offenders. From total mayhem to absolute madness. We join Cheshire's motorway cops as they fight to keep our roads safe. We capture the action. We've got one casualty who's potentially serious. I just can't believe I've done that to my car. I'm PC Doran from Cheshire Police. Oh, no, you see that again, bro? You see it when I told you to see it, bro. That's a positive kind of best already. Oh, sweetie. We do. God loves to try yeah. Have you ever passed a driving test anywhere? Driving test. Oh, no. Helping them in their battle with idiots behind the wheel is dash cam. It's vital evidence. You haven't got dash cam, have you? And proof that Britain's dumbest drivers are a law unto themselves. Oh, my God! Tonight... I noticed there's a bit of blood on her face. Is she all right? A child is in a serious collision with a van. I've asked for an update at this moment in time. They can't tell me if it's life-changing or life-threatening. Oh! That's nearly hit us. Wow, yeah. A careless young driver has a wake-up call. Get your dad to send us the insurance then now. At one o'clock at night. And a white van man makes a bad call. There's at least five different phone calls in a five-minute window. It's there. Uh, the time was using it. Yeah. Jump. I can get it in there. I don't have to show you that. Rain here. It's mine. Ah! Oh, do us till lunch, won't it? Yeah, yeah, do. Do we want bread or toast? Toast. At their base at Nutsford Services, PC's Matt Turner and Ian Cosgrove are fueling up for the day. Mmm. 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 Round for lunch. Don't know. Double crude. Bloody hell. Today they'll be patrolling the roads of Cheshire in an unmarked BMW. Sport mode selected. Radio is off. Just do it. Sums it all up, doesn't it? That's your go. Now we're gonna have some action today. Need some. Cheshire Police. Hi, it's Ambulance. Can we have your assistance with the car versus pedestrian RTC, please? What part of the situation? An 11 year old female who's been hit by a Mercedes van. The query on whether the patient possibly has a broken neck. She is coughing blood as well. Okay, yeah, guy one grade one RTC. Ambulance priority. Telemeds on its way. God. Oh, thank you. Oh, TC, Middlewich, 11 year old, what's a broken neck? Now? Now. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, Roger, keep the Norfolk patrol coming as well, please, to help with uh, traffic. We're the nearest patrol, so our priority now is just to, we just need to get there. <laughs> Come on, mate, just yeah. keep coming. Try not to think about what's what's going on till you get there. It's a child, isn't it? So we just need to get there as soon as we can. Over the bridge, left there, yeah. Whiskey Alpha 2, 8. Uh, three minutes away, 1.1 miles. Just keep going, Cindy. Yeah. Mike Oscar, 1 1. 
Yeah, yeah, it's on C. Who have we got here? So, I'm a doctor, I was hit just oh, okay, on the So, she was hit on the side of the head, I think, by this one here, which are these guys here. Yeah, I'm just worried about the head injury. Yeah. Um, but she's a bit dazed. Right, OK, then. We've run right, the ambulance, okay. it's about 30 minutes. Just oh, you sorry? Mom, Mom, how are you, Mum? <laughs> yeah, the helicopter. Well, that, that's for you. They come, they come and come and check on you because they're a bit quicker. Not only do you meet the police, you get to see a helicopter. You never know. You might be able to go in it. Oh, it's number 98. Is it there, yeah, in the yeah, in the green? Yeah. The yeah. Top, yeah. 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 Uh, Mike Oscar one one just for the log. Uh, paramedics are on scene. Would you mind just telling my mum that, that, that they're coming in a second? Who's the driver? Just come sit in with me, mate, if you would. <laughs> What's the verdict? Don't know at the moment. They're right. just doing the uh, full body assessment. Right, okay. Um, I'll just ask them in a minute once they finish their assessment whether we're likely to fly to Child M uh, Manchester Children's MRI. Right, do you think that's likely? To, uh, that's where I suspect you'll end up. Right, going. okay. She was hit on the side of the head, I think. I'm just worried about the head injury. Yeah. In Middlewich, Cheshire, PCs Matt Turner and Ian Cosgrove are attending a collision where an 11-year-old has been hit by a van. Uh, Life-threatening or life-changing? I don't, I don't think life-threatening, no. I can't really tell yeah, the full extent of her injuries. Uh, BA, Mike Oscar, 1-1. One, one. Dad. They're still assessing her. Uh, she's going to be going to Manchester Royal Infirmary by uh, air. All they could tell me at the moment is no um, obvious chest pains. That's all at the moment. Do you need us to move anything to make life easier? And when we get to the sort of tape area, just be respectful if people uh, stand back. Can you move back? Move back! Move back! All of you, keep going, please. Keep going to the other side. Come on! Ready, brace, lift. With the young girl stable and safely on her way to hospital, Matt turns his attention to the van driver. Is she all right? We've not been told what, what, what the ambulance is saying yet, but from a police point of view, we have to, you know, start the investigation now, if that makes sense. All right. Right, go on then. So tell me what's happened in your own words. We've come down here and she's literally stood here and then she's looked left and then ran out. If I didn't swerve, she, she would have gone under the van, mate. Because literally, I must have only been like this car length away from her and yeah. she didn't even look my way. Is yeah. that where she's ended up? Um, no, she, she she stood up, but obviously there was people with her. I don't, I don't know, I, yeah, I didn't really see. Right. I, I was too busy, I had my head in my hand, so I... I know, mate, I know. Because you've been involved in the collision, you've got to take a breath sample from you, all right? I must inform you, if you fail to provide or refuse to provide, you'll be arrested. You'll also be arrested should that sample prove to be positive, you understand? Yeah. yeah. Big deep breath, mate. Pull the seal around the tube, I'll fold the machine, blow till tight stop, all right? Top man. OK. Perfect. Zero. So what will happen from now, then? We'll speak to witnesses, which is obviously being done around us now, and then... But you will be kept in the loop. We're not going to leave in the dark or anything, all right? Witnesses says that one, both girl, one girls look both ways. The other one hasn't. She said she's never yeah, yeah, this one hasn't looked both. Only looked left, and then walked across. He's tried to swerve, and then with mirrors at her. Yeah, that's so what he yeah. said. Yeah, yeah.
the original report was that it was a broken neck and uh, bleeding from the mouth, so it was actually quite a relief. It was evident that a neck wasn't broken. This is the issue with serious and fatal accidents. They can happen to anyone, any place, any time, and it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, the road is unforgiving. I've got my old boots today, just embedding in some new ones, so uh, they tend to start hurting halfway through the shift, so I'll have to do a little boot change halfway through. Ready to put his foot down in Chester is PC Chris Swash. Right, let's go and play cops and robbers, eh? Hopefully today, sun's out, which means there'll be loads of motorcyclists out today, I imagine causing chaos on the roads. Hopefully they do it safely. Now I've said that, nothing will happen all day. That car's getting stopped. So we'll, uh, we'll pull him over down here. A lad in front looked like he, well, he's weaving all over the road and he was on his mobile phone. He certainly wasn't itching his ear. But we'll pull him over down here, see what he's got to say. He's making it nice and easy for us. Traffic cops like Chris have zero tolerance for drivers on their devices. He's talking on the phone. Shocking footage from Staffordshire Police shows this driver with his hands full. And now he's drinking his McDonald's drink in his right hand, phone in the left hand. And unbelievably, Police in Manchester witnessed this white van man watching TV. You are four times more likely to be in a car crash if you use your phone while driving. Which is why this distracted driver ended up off-road. Back in Chester, PC Chris Swash has pulled over a driver he's seen using his phone behind the wheel. Just wait there for us. Just wait there for us. The only reason I've stopped you is... Looked like you were on your mobile phone back there when you came off the A483. You sure? What were you doing? Just hanging. Just hanging. OK. Where's your, where, where is your phone at the minute? Yeah, is that all right? Well, you don't have to give it me, but I was just saying, do you, want, do you mind showing me your call log? Because unfortunately for you, you turned right and you were like that on your phone. It's unfortunate timing, really. I miss cars on that, yeah. So, as it shows there, you're on your phone at 1521, where I saw you on your mobile phone, on a phone call. That's right, that's There's a couple good. of phone calls as well. Yeah, they don't stop ringing. It rings all the time, yeah. not a business. <laughs> so, so, you were on your mobile no, phone. So, you're going to be issued with a traffic offence report for using a mobile phone whilst driving? because I've seen it clear as day when you turned right. That's fine, you've just showed me your phone and on your call log, it's there. You know the time was using it? Yeah. I'd if you like want to contest it, it, you're more than welcome to go to court, but you've got your call log on there that you've just showed me and there's at least five different phone calls in a five minute window. And I've seen you with your mobile phone in your right hand and I'm sure your mum will confirm that you've been using your mobile phone because it's conveniently been placed in a handbag. It hasn't been conveniently placed in a handbag. Well, how's it got into mum's handbag, bizarrely, you see the missed calls on it? But you've been on your you phone. You, so, so you're not... I'm trying to explain to you how I know you're on your mobile phone. Yeah, well, so I've seen you using your mobile phone. Just give us a ticket, mate, I'm too busy talking. No, but you've asked me... You've ticket. asked the evidence, haven't you? Have you got a driving licence? No, mate. Okay. But you are... I'm sure you've got better things to do than driving to talk to me all day. No, I've not, to be fair. But when I get ice cream in the cafe, chill out. <laughs> I do like people when they try and blag me though when they've not been on the phone, it is funny. If you want to go and argue, you're more than welcome to. Just had a band for that. You just had a band? What for? 20 points you had? What sort of stuff? You need to have a word with it. <laughs> when you do 50,000 miles a year, you're right, you put your blue lights on, we've got to keep going. Yeah. I've got to try my luck, mate. You've got to try your luck, haven't you, mate? Lovely to meet you. See you later. People don't still now, and I don't understand it, 
don't get why it's so important not to use your mobile phone because it affects your driving, you're not switched on. He was unaware I was behind him. It cost 15 quid to buy yourself a Bluetooth headset rather than 200 pound fine and six points or worst case for him is lose your license again. Bit of a, a silly sausage really. Just notice you got a screw in your tire. You see, it's just there. Look, right on the right on the edge. Yeah. Oh, you got another one in here as well. Look, I've just noticed that there. Looks like you've been driving through screw fixed car park or something. Working flat out to make sure the roads of Cheshire are safe is PC Rowan Burt. quite meticulous with um, vehicle safety and most evenings I tend to sit down with uh, the traffic police officers handbook, uh, study it cover to cover. I don't, I sit there and watch Netflix all the night. <laughs> to a vehicle that's um, activated some speed cameras and uh, it looks like they're struggling to get hold of the um, keeper of the vehicle. Uh, maybe there's some issues with that, so they put a marker on it for us to uh, stop the vehicle and obtain the details of the driver so they can identify who the speeding offending driver is. We want to know who's committing speed camera offences so they can be dealt with appropriately. And if you know if we're not prosecuting those people, then they're just going to be able to go around and continue to commit speed camera offences and not be dealt with properly. We might not catch him until 11. The thing is, he could come off here somewhere. Oh, there it is, there. It's the one but in front. GC Police Department. This could be interesting. Would you believe it? Max, you uh, we want to make sure. Just uh, brought it off at 11. I've stopped you, firstly, yeah. because uh, the vehicle has been linked to some speed camera offences. So I'm just trying to find some more information out about that. Oh, I see, yeah. We've got um, 36 going through. A speed camera. So uh, has that been dealt with, is it? Or... Yeah. Right, okay, so it might be that it's an old marker or something, yeah. but it's just, no, it, just requests it is, to stop you. We've done the online one and we've wait we've sent the you know the paper form. Yeah. But we only posted it on Friday. Ah oh, right, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so is it UK registered? Yes. Okay. So it has American style number plate. It's actually exempt. It's gone to court a couple of times and been thrown out. Right. Mike Sierra 3 1. Yeah. Can you just have a quick look at the um, speed camera events, Marky? Photograph the motor vehicle and send to DVLA for speed camera offences. The DVLA wants some photos of it. Okay. They'll, they'll probably get in touch with you and yeah. I don't know what they'll, what they'll want to do, but um, it's them that enforce the uh, that side of legislation, so. Yeah, sure. Is there uh, any issues for the uh, number plate side? Mike Sierra, 3-1. The chap said he's um, been to court a couple of times with it and um, gets thrown out each time because it's uh, an import. It can keep the plate it's got. But I'll, I'll do some digging on that and I'll inform the DVLA. So is it an ex-police car? Yeah. It was a police car for two years, then Warner Brothers got it. It's, it's a show vehicle. It was in Batman vs Superman, Justice League and Suicide Squad. It's the actual vehicle from the from the car. It's probably more sophisticated than ours. Can't go anywhere without it being either stopped Sorry. or looked at or videoed. It takes 20 minutes to get out of Tesco's car park. It's just so American, isn't it? It's just proper American. Expect the unexpected. Police car pulling over another police car. Can't write it. The 
great when you're on the go crisps you know, if you can't stop in between jobs and stuff. I am partial to a, to a knick knack. Nice and spicy. Munching his way through his shift is PC Chris Swash. I was like a little bit of lightly salted. Can't go wrong with balsamic vinegar and sea salt as well. I regularly go to jobs and have crisps all over my body armor. Or flour from a sandwich all over me. <laughs> Please emergency. Hi. Uh, M53 is it changes to the A road with a couple of wheelbarrows in the outside lane. Right, and uh, they're in the middle of the road, yeah. In the outside lane, yeah. It's like fighting. got um, two rogue wheelbarrows in lane two of the A55. This will be from the flatbed trucks, but they don't like to fasten things down in the back of it, and it will have just flown off the back of that. If somebody does collide with them, it can cause mass damage, can't it, or even cost them to veer off into the road. It's pretty important that we get to these jobs as quick as we can, really, because not everyone is switched on or aware of what's on the roads ahead of them. Across a year, a staggering 24,000 drivers are involved in accidents caused by debris on our highways. A loose load on the road means just about anything could be heading your way. But the biggest offenders are items detaching themselves from damaged vehicles. Now he's seen us. Back on the A55, PC Chris Swash is responding to reports of wheelbarrows on the loose in a live lane. Get there, make sure there's no accidents because if someone tries to swerve and avoid it or it flies up and flattens through someone's windscreen, it cause awful RTCs. What is this balloon doing here? Yeah, looking for Britain's 8 million dash cams are recording our driving errors in glorious Technicolor. Like this yellow transit driver, caught red-handed pulling out. A purple Micra attempting an audacious overtake. And an orange pickup truck showing their true colours. But drivers of black cars beware. It's the one colour of vehicle more likely to end up in a collision than all the others. What is this balloon doing here? Outside Chester, PC Chris Swash has caught up with a pair of wheelbarrows, causing chaos on a dual carriageway. Lads. Right, they're getting tickets for that. Jump out for me. Who's driving this? Have you come up here with us, mate? Because you cannot drive that with that on there. You're not supposed to even get out of your vehicle and go over there. You also can't stop and run across a live lane, regardless of what it is, and go into the centre reservation to get in. Move the wheel so the car didn't crash into it. You can't do that to drive in a flatbed truck, your loads need to be secure. That isn't secure. It's not secure. It's not secure. You need something over the top of it. Even the soil, it, it, it's ridiculous. So that is absolutely ludicrous. If that falls off the back and someone crashes into it, goes into central reservation, dies, you're looking at four years in prison. It's deadly, deadly serious. Thanks, Sierra 34. We've recovered the two wheelbarrows, it's from two flatbeds with insecure loads, so we're just giving out two tickets now. I'll send you a picture of the, uh, the offending vehicle. Thank you. So we were driving down the motorway, and two of our wheelbarrows fell off. Uh, we didn't use any ratchet straps, following a few cars to swerve. So we had to climb across the road, pick them up to stop a crash happening. Learn from it, alright. 
because it is serious. No, make note of it because it's you lot that are at risk. It is mad what we see on the roads. I didn't expect to see two fellas running across live lanes collecting the wheelbarrows that have flown off the back of it. So if someone goes into the back of that and they have a fatal RTC, the blame will lie with the driver of the vehicle where it's fallen off. Yeah, it was metal. When it's nice, it's dry. Watch in a good mood. On the M56, PC Nyas Waddington is in the driver's seat with a new bit of hardware. Unfortunately, I had a little accident, so I've lost the wedding ring. So I've got a washer now. And it feels a lot better, actually. I mean, I never used to wear the ring all the time. I used to wear it for work and going out. I would play a rubbish Mr. T, because I don't like wearing jewellery, it's just not me. The vehicle is a Peugeot 308 GT in white. T Mark has made multiple speed camera fences. We got a fail to stop in our airport. A white Peugeot 308 with a black roof which is cloned. We believe it's uh, on the North Wales border with Cheshire. So we're making to Junction 14, Papsford, and floating around that area because it could appear there. Just for the log, I am advanced T Pack in a unmarked suitable advanced vehicle. Yeah, if you can uh, just show me um, off at 10, just underneath the um, flyover, please. Nyas has settled on his spot to stake out the clone vehicle. We wait at a location for two plus hours. It's going to be easy to actually spot this vehicle because if you're looking at a white Peugeot with a black roof and then it's just clocking the reg. What is this vehicle here? No. Ooh, didn't see those lights. What is frustrating is when you are plotted off at location and right before your eyes, you do see other offences taking place. You've got to weigh everything up on its own merits. I don't know what it is with this set. It's a good set of traffic lights. It's just yeah. dangerous how people just want to risk going through a amber to red or a clear red signal because they can't bother waiting at a set of traffic lights. He's having a ticket. We need to be dealing with that. I can't let that one pass. This driver isn't alone in thinking red means go. Whether it's putting themselves before pedestrians. Wow, you moron. Or failing to notice why the cars in front are queuing. Drivers who jump red lights spell danger. Oh my God! Because almost half of all road traffic accidents happen at junctions. Christ. Back in Chester, PC Nyers Waddington is seeing red over a driver who did just the opposite. This vehicle in front, contrary in the red traffic like where we were, and there was a car coming, he had to slam on. Otherwise, it would have resulted in an accident. <laughs> do you know why I've just stopped you? Was it to do with that driver? You've gone through a red traffic light. Because I was parked up, you've gone through. That driver who had right of way, you nearly went into them. Is there any reason you haven't seen the traffic light? 
OK. I have to tell you, it will be a ticket for due care and attention. I don't know if it's the sun which was glaring, you haven't seen them, I don't know, but you're, you're the third person to go through those red lights. All right, just drive safely, be more observant. All right, nobody injured this time. All right, take care. I couldn't believe that, could not believe that. And when I initially spoke to her then, she thought that the other driver was at fault. Don't know how she gets that from. The other two red lighters which have gone past, which is going to have to be notice of intended prosecution sent out to them in the post, but that I could not let go. Back on the hunt for the cloned white Peugeot, there have been no further sightings. Back on to patrol, see what's out there. Patrolling the M6 is PC Rowan Bird. It's not the motorway, it's more sort of jobs that we come across. We've got the AMPR system in the car, so we keep an eye on that as well. Boxall Astra in the silver. Can I show you no insurance? Just uh, quickly spun around the junction 10 there, just because there's a, an APR activation uh, further down the motorway uh, coming this way. The vehicle that's showing no insurance on the system, seems to be located, seems to have insurance. Uninsured vehicles often have risk takers in the driving seat. Like this Black Astra, evading Greater Manchester Police. It's now a foul to stop, a foul to stop. Speeds are now increasing where. At dangerously high speeds, the driver races through residential streets, hitting other vehicles in his bid to stay one step ahead of the cops. At a dead end, he dumps the vehicle and hides, but the police eventually catch up with him. The driver was found guilty of dangerous driving, driving while disqualified, driving without insurance and failing to stop. He was sentenced to 16 months in jail. We'll just kind of jump to it down here and then hopefully should be able to get in front of it and take it off at the next junction. Back on the M56, PC Rowan Burt is looking for a car driving with no insurance. There it is there. Oh, I think we might know we want to have a chat. He just uh, quite abruptly pulled from lane two into lane one. He got the follow me on anyway, so um, he follows off at junction 10 here and I'll chat with him. <clears throat> Hello there, you okay? Have you got your driving license, please? Thank you very much. Can you just turn the engine off for us for a sec, thanks. Uh, have you just bought the vehicle or have you had it a while? Or? Yeah, a couple of months ago, yeah. And how are you insured to drive it? Yeah, uh, they were online, eight months ago. Online. Oh, do you? Have you got anything on your phone about that then? Yeah, I'm actually... Just that the vehicle's showing is not insured at the minute, that's all. Hey. Yes, every month. That's not your car, is it? That reg there? That's, that's not your car, is it? I'll have to bring it. I transferred it over in February, February the 4th. Yeah, right. Is that your old car, is it? Yeah, th got rid of that one. Th then just after, well, the same day I got this. It was a silver page up. How did you transfer it? I, I found them up. All oh, right, they send you details about that, did they? It usually just goes on here. Uh, right, we'll have to give the insurance company a quick shout to yeah, see what they say. Because right, yeah. um, they'll have a record of all the calls and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. Do you want to just come and take a seat for a second, then you can hear what they say? Yeah, sure. He he's, um waiting for the V5 to come back, but he is the owner and he will be the registered keeper. It's currently in trade at the minute on PNC. I will give him a ring now then and I'll give you a call back, all right? That's great, thanks so much. 
That's the Motor Insurance Bureau, who all the insurance companies speak to, and that's the police helpline. If the insurance companies say no, the call never existed, um, you know, we, we haven't got any record of it, then ultimately you're driving up without insurance. Claiming on the phone. Hello, Constable Burke speaking. The, the underwriters have gone home early, so we're not able to get any answer on that one for you, I'm afraid, today. What happens then? The, the, the only other thing you could do is take out like a one day policy yeah. until you sort it out. <laughs> yeah, so if you get, you get cracking on that, because I need to make sure that you're insured yeah. to drive this away now. It's going to stand outside. <laughs> there you go, bud. Yeah, it's good asking for the car details now, so. Result. Make sure it's from, like, now, yeah? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Till uh, 29 minutes past two tomorrow. Talk. So, just checking that the policy's um, live. He's got a one-day insurance policy. Cost him 34 quid for the pleasure. I wouldn't want to pay 34 quid a day, would you? <laughs> Fingers crossed for you, mate. Well. All right. But the insurance company tell me that they're not going to cover him for the insurance then. Uh, I'll have to report him to court because he's already got six points on his licence. He'd get another six for uh, for no insurance, so that puts him on 12. So he's going to have to go to court and either plead his case to try and keep his licence. Although he's still paying a premium, you know, it's the driver's responsibility to make sure they're insured for the vehicle they're driving at the time. Finally, mate. Salt pepper chips. Oh, stars do it. I'll tell you what, this bag's heavy. PCs Matt Turner and Ian Cosgrove are six and a half hours into their night shift. We only picked it up two hours ago. Yeah. Oh, lukewarm rice. But they've only just managed to grab a break at Runcorn Station. I'm just bugging them out, that. Here's mine. No peas. Now, with this peas, it's going to be mad. <laughs> well, there's a pea. Oh, good Al. <laughs> Not for this. <laughs> it's a, a mark on a van, a brand new van by the looks of it, that uh, the driver's possibly got an expired license. So I think it's coming in this general direction. The AMAX is uh, 1-6. Yeah, come on. Uh, activation on Mike Victor 2-2. Two two. Could you just see who it's uh, on about with the uh, driving licence offences and just run it through NPR for me? Mike Sierra 1-6. Go ahead. The person I'm talking about is said to have an expired provisional. Roger. Yeah, where's that van registered to? The vehicle is actually registered to a caravan farm. If it's hit that camera, chances are it's coming this way. Right. right. Bet this is it now. Oh! That's nearly hit us. Well, I Nearly two thirds of us have experienced road rage. Idiots! Drivers who can't turn left what? means we're left in a mood. When they can't turn right, we're right fed up. But you don't. And those who can't do roundabouts drive us around the bend. What are you doing? Their bad driving means we see red, even when they don't. That's nearly hit us. Oh, yeah. that, that's dangerous driving, that. On the dark country lanes of Cheshire, PC's Matt Turner and Ian Cosgrove are on the tail of a van driver who swerved to the wrong side of the road has got him on the wrong side of the law. So they've got the sides, mate. He's got all the dive off the road. Where's he gone? 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 
Where he's dived off, Annie. Yeah. There he is. It's like a flatbed thing with silver side of it. It's changed hands. Two six, did you receive that? Yeah, he receives. Uh, we still want to catch up with him. He's just managed to drive and he's nearly taken that one around the corner. Yeah, I'll get him in. Come on, let's have a quick chat in this car. No seatbelt. Bring your phone if you want. You got your driving licence on you? I am afraid of it. I don't have that on me. Sorry? Oh, OK, that's fine. I'm sitting here. Yo, you sit there, buddy. Hey, yo. You all oh. right? No, mate. Have you got your driving licence? I've, I've been pulled over a good few times for... Here you go. No, I've got driver details. Uh... Four substantive licence holder. You don't want it. Not disqualified. Do you want to describe your manner of driving to me? Let's draw our attention to you. To be honest, sir, I, I, did I see you around the corner? You tell me. I think I'd seen you around the corner. Do you know why I think you saw me around the corner? Why? Because you're on my side of the road for a start, on the solid whites. Sorry, mate. Sorry about that. How old are you at the moment? No, I do. What insurance have you got? I have no insurance. That's my dad's vehicle. That's yeah. open, that's open driven. Right, so you think you're on the policy? Is that what you're telling like me? Like, if you have a licence over 17, you can drive that vehicle. Right, you think that's what the policy says? That, that's what my dad said, yeah, it's open driven. Get your dad to send us the insurance then now. Be in the ring. At one o'clock at night? Yeah. Yeah. Because if that will, we'll have to potentially, you haven't got insurance, so we'll take the van off. I'm sure he'd prefer a call, wouldn't he? I swing with mum, my mum is always awake. My dad could be asleep. Mummy, will you send me over, um a photo of uh, the insurance because I just got pulled over by the police. The policeman's waiting for it. Thank you. She just looked at the messages. Oh, she read them, yeah. Is that what you do? Talk talk on the thing? Yeah, talk on the phone. I don't like ringing. Is that, is that there, sir? Is that what? No, I need to see the policy. That's just a letter about the insurance. I need to see the actual policy with your name on. Do you have the photo on me of the policy? The policy. Is that there, sir? Right, that's just a renewal schedule. Okay. To say that the insurance is due to be renewed. So, what should I say to her? I need to see the policy. Mummy, I need to see the policy. The policy. Is that there? Right there, sir. Yeah. Another one. Right, I need to see one for that vehicle. What should say that I need to see the policy for that transaction? For the one you're driving tonight. Yeah, that's Shouldn't right. Shouldn't be up to me to find your insurance. No, Should right. be up to you to that's... show me your insurance. That's... Is that there, sir? If it's not, I can just get up there. It's a completely different one. Is everything OK, sir? We think so, yeah. Just ease off a bit. Okay. All right. Get a copy of that insurance on okay, Thank you. All Show right. us right. Take it easy if you can. Thank you very much. It was a nice lad. Well, we, got, we got there in the end, I mean, apart from him nearly wiping us out because he came across the solids towards us, but uh, I don't know how my mum would react to getting numerous phone calls at one o'clock in the morning, but... Uh... I know how mine would. <laughs> well, once she wouldn't answer it, she'd have a right go at me. <laughs> If you have any dashcam clips you think could feature in the next series of Motorway Cops, Catching Britain's Speeders, send them along with your contact details to contact us at purpleproductions.co.uk. What's going on? It's poor little Emily. She's gone. Emily is out there waiting for us to find her. We're not giving up. 
Yes, don't go anywhere. Our brand new original drama, The House Across the Street, is starting next.